Welcome to Ultimate Survival Gear. Today, as you guys can see, I have something from Merrill. Love this brand, one of those brands that know exactly what they're doing whenever it comes to outdoors, hiking, camping, backpacking, whatever it is that you're doing outdoors. Let's uh, unwrap, <laughs> open up the box, let's unwrap it and see what we got because these are the new Merrill. And sorry, there's a bunch of noise here. Merrill Moab 3, yes. And uh, if you don't have time to watch the whole review, let me give you a brief overview. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic mid-size waterproof hiking boot. The comfort level is just unbelievable. The outsole is excellent. As you can see, Vibram, you can see it here, you can see it here. Absolutely great. So really no complaints if you don't want to watch the whole review just you know the link the amazon link is in the description below go ahead buy it you're not going to be disappointed but if you really are serious about buying it maybe you want to stick around to learn a little bit more about the features because this is not a regular hiking boot review no this review specifically for my ultimate survival boot section yes basically if something bad happened all right and these are the boots that you had in the house you put them on you left the house you had to travel to the safety walking for miles on the way you had to run you had to climb you had to fight out whatever you think about your surreal i'm sure 2022 2021 and yeah gave you plenty of, of ideas for survival situations but if this is the boot that you were wearing would that be good for your survival would it help you to survive or would it get you killed well how do we make the judgment we make the judgment based on eight different criteria so let's begin of course with the comfort level and in order to test the comfort level of all the boots and shoes that i review on this channel i do a three mile run and then a five mile walk right after no pauses and then i continue wearing the shoes or boots in this case for the rest of the day so that the total wear time is eight hours this kind of gives me the baseline for testing everything that i review on this channel so that i am not you know a little bit biased to this a little bit biased to that like i said in the beginning the comfort level is absolutely fantastic and there are a few factors that contribute to the comfort level the first one of course the weight right the lighter the boot the longer you can walk the longer you can run let's see exactly how light or heavy these are i would say about 16 ounce maybe i don't know if i'm correct but let's find out this is size 10 17.3 i have to say for a waterproof mid-size boot this is very very good now to give you kind of uh reference numbers so that you you get the idea of what you are looking for you know just for your kind of uh personal research if you are you know in this kind of category waterproof mid-size as long as you find something that is under 20 ounce, I would say that's considered lightweight and uh, it's not gonna slow you down. It's not gonna create, you know, unnecessary fatigue over long distances. I mean, obviously you're gonna be fatigued over long distances because you're putting in the effort, you're walking, but from the weight on your feet, okay, pretty good. This is well under 20 ounce, so there, I mean, if it's a little bit over 20 ounce, you know, 21, 22, not that bad, but keep in mind, once you get past that 20 ounce above, now you're getting into that heavier uh, category. So this is well under, very well done, Merrill. All right, let's move on to the uh, next factor that contributes to the comfort level is the flexibility of the outsole. And here, as you can see, yes, it has a Vibram, Vibram rubber, which we will talk about later in the outsole specifically. But besides that, it is still very, very flexible. So you can actually run in these properly. Honestly, I would not mind. I mean, they don't look like the trail running shoes, obviously, because it's a mid-sized boot. But if you are doing some hardcore trail running, you can definitely do it in these without any problems. The outsole is good enough. Again, we'll talk about the outsole later. But with the flexibility of the outsole, you can run properly without putting the stress on your ankles on your knees so very very good let's move on to the inner sole now and i'm going to try to take it out so that you can see exactly what it looks like and it is guys it is excellent the inner sole is fantastic now whenever it comes to <laughs> to the you know the heel bed the r support this is probably as defined of a heel bed and r support as you really can I can't get it like anywhere else. This is absolutely fantastic. Now, keep in mind, this might not work for some of the feet. Like if you have like flatter feet, this R support might be a little bit too aggressive for your liking. 
That's why I, I, you know, that's why I put Amazon links, not 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 any other links. Sometimes I put backcountry links because they have much better uh, deals. But with Amazon, it's just easier. You know, you buy it, you try it out. It doesn't fit you. You send it back. No big deal. All right. So this might not work for some feet. Keep this in mind. But overall, this is really really good. And as you can see, they did add additional cushioning in hot spots. Yes. So well done, Merrill. Again, very very well thought through. Let's move on to the padding, another thing that contributes to the comfort level. Look at this. This is like a pillow. You have <laughs> you have a whole pillow for a tongue. This is <laughs> very, very good. I mean, this feels fantastic. Like this is probably one of the most comfortable boots that I had on this channel. And it's so comfortable. You can, I mean, look at this padding right here in the shaft, in the heel right here, going through all, throughout the whole boot. You have a very nice, throughout the whole thing, you have very nice padding. You can wear these boots without socks, all right? And you will still be very comfortable. This is very impressive whenever it comes to the comfort level. So, on the comfort level, yes, I am impressed. And guys, I, I mean, I reviewed like 300 maybe more boots already on the channel. And yeah, this is, this is really good. Let's move on to the criteria number two now, proofing and protection. So this is waterproof, nothing fancy, no Gore-Tex, whatever waterproofing here, just a regular waterproofing from Merrill themselves. Again, these guys know exactly what they're doing, but I wanted to point out here the gusseting. As you can see, the gusseting goes all the way up to the same length, basically the, the height of the shaft, which is very smart, very good. Uh, usually you see, you know, the shaft being whatever, five inches, whatever it is. And then the gusseting is like three inches. And then you're like, why did they like two inches just gave it up? Here is not the case. Again, demonstrates Merrill know exactly what they're doing. Let's talk about the protection. As you can see, there is a little bit of a reinforcement rubber here at the very front of the toe box, but it's still very, very soft. Keep that in mind, so don't drop anything on your toe. On the rocky road, you know, small rocks, it, it will give you enough protection, but don't like put too much trust in it that you drop something and it's gonna protect you, not really. Now, the uh, this front cap is very hard. Again, very helpful on rocky roads. Obviously, you have plenty of protection from the bottom, we will talk about the outsole later, but it's a super high quality rubber Vibram. Um, so it does give you plenty amount of protection from the bottom. You have the same kind of a reinforcement here at the heel, a little bit harder than at the front. And obviously your ankles are nicely protected by all this padding and the shaft. Again, overall on the waterproofing and on the protection from the midsize, as much as you can get from the midsize, hiking boot that is, Great, fantastic. Let's move on to the criteria number three now. Quality and the design features. Okay, quality wise, if you're not familiar with Merrill and you're into hiking, you're into outdoor stuff, I highly recommend to give them a shot at least once. It's like one of those brands like, like Salomon or, or, or La Sportiva. If they fit you, you will stay true to them for forever. You know, you will be like, like me and Salomon. They just fit me the best. So I just, you know, it's just, just keep getting Salomon. That's it. That's, that's my fitment. This might work for somebody and they will stick with this forever. So, so give them a shot. Try them out. Uh, quality wise, fantastic quality each and every time. I have not had a bad pair of anything from Merrill yet. And you can check out, like I said, the link, Amazon link is in the description below. Uh, over 350 five star reviews on Amazon. Um, currently so yeah people do like them and I'm not surprised let's move on to the design features now whenever it comes to the design features usually here I talk about the lacing system and uh, you can hear my laptop for whatever reason is going nuts over here so I'm gonna turn it off so it doesn't make it that much noise there we go all right so let's talk about the lacing system here lacing system here is designed specifically to save weight so you have five pairs of fabric hooks nothing crazy the strings are nice round thick strings just the way i think the most comfortable the best ones the easiest to manipulate and you have a pair of open hooks here at the very top which is excellent for hiking i know some people don't like them but Whenever it comes to hiking, if you're going uphill, downhill, sometimes you need to quickly change the tension right here to make it a little bit more comfortable. That's what we have the open hooks for. And here, of course, in a hiking boot, it's there. Okay, let's move on to the criteria number four. Now, outsole traction stability. Now, whenever I do the run and the walk to test the boots, I do that on a variety of different surfaces. Like anything I can find around my house and I have older tarmac, 
no, actually older asphalt, the tarmac, I don't know what the difference is. And the, the sand, dry sand, wet sand, dry grass, wet grass, rocky road, trail surface, concrete, marble, tile, just a whole bunch of stuff. Rubber, yeah, ev just everything, everything. And I have to say, this outsole handles very, very well on literally anything you throw at it. Honestly, I'm not surprised. I mean, Vibram is one of the best outsoles out there whenever it comes to quality of the rubber. It's nice and hard, it gives you enough protection. And at the same time, here, Merrill did a great job designing it. So you have a decent amount of aggression. So on slippery stuff, like wet grass, you're not slipping and, and sliding. So outsole, yeah, again, Merrill, they nailed this one. Uh, no problems here at all. Let's move on to the criteria number five, temperature. Now in the hot weather, very nice, very breathable. Yes, all this padding, it seems like it's gonna keep you warm. It, it will in the colder, in the colder temperatures, but in the hot temperatures, it's still very nice and very breathable. I wouldn't have any problems wearing these boots on a nice hot hike here in Florida. But at the same time for colder temperatures, I mean, there is really no insulation. So I would say still keep in mind these boots as like a three season boot, not necessarily four season, but you can definitely get away with these in some milder winter temperatures. I would say, you know, if, if it's, you know, somewhere around 30, you know, maybe a little bit, depending on what kind of socks, if you get yourself some really good, uh, I don't know, merino wool socks, you can get away with even colder temperatures because you still have the waterproofing uh, on these, just really no uh, insulation. But let's move on to the criteria number six really quickly, the sizing. These are true to the size, no problems at all with the sizing. Now, I usually recommend getting half a size bigger just so that you have a little bit of extra space here. I think you might be fine if you get the your your size, your normal shoe size in these, just because Merrells, they tend to kind of run a little bit wider, a little bit bigger toe box in general. Uh, but again, kind of keeping in mind, you do want a little bit of extra space. Your toe, you don't want it to touch the front of this because over long periods of time, if you're walking, this will give you fatigue. Let's move on to the criteria number seven now, balance of application. So back to the whole survival thing if this was your survival boot would this be good for your survival okay so if i was in a situation where i had to leave my house or leave my world or whatever doesn't matter in a situation where i had to walk for as long as i have to you know to get to the safety you know and i'm just walking and walking through different terrains you know whether it's the trail whether it's woods in the tr you know trail in the woods or trail on through the mountains it doesn't really matter but for a very long time obviously for some like this you want something as comfortable as possible okay I'll, protection matters of course waterproofing protection matters and you have it here but the comfort is probably one of the top priorities because you're walking and walking and walking and walking this right here i mean it honestly it's it's really hard to beat this really really hard to beat. like you have to you have to know something like for me for example it's solomon and it, the fitment whenever it comes to to the fitment is solomon and and then of everything that i reviewed through solomon i found myself that ultra x uh, or x ultra 3 i still can't forget mid gtx all right and uh i stuck with them and it's been already what like four years five years i've stuck with them been through a lot of stuff with those boots uh but they fitment wise they're just the best for me that's would be like the only situation that I can think of that would beat something like this because this is just amazing It, re it really really is. I mean, it's really good. The comfort level is very very impressive uh, I don't know honestly like I'm, I'm thinking right now like I, maybe I want to do a comparison between like this and, and, and Solomon because like of, of the two, I don't think I had anything else on this channel that was as comfortable. The easily in the top 10 best hiking boots that I have re ever reviewed. Yeah, it, these are that good. And let's move on to the very last criterion here because I, I can talk about these forever. Price, price, that's another thing that, uh, yeah, with with the price you can easily beat Salomos because Salomos, they run about 130 bucks. These are currently $79 on Amazon. Yes, the link is in the description below. Wow, $80, that is, yeah, that's just really, really good. For something like this, this is unbelievably low. Uh, I'm not sure how long this price is gonna stay. Hopefully it will stay, but 
for now yes they are 80 bucks so if you're looking to pick up a pair and you're looking for a good time and save some money right now is probably the best time so let me know in the comments below guys what do you think about this boot what do you think about this review if you have any requests for reviews drop them in the comments below and i will be happy to address them as always thank you very much for watching really appreciate your time god bless you all i'll see you guys in the next video